What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the next episode of Saturday is for the Boys. It's me and Ian again. Sadly, Jack is at a wedding. But, as you can see, we're playing some UFC 4 today. Um, and also, as you can see, me and Ian have played a lot of games of UFC 4 together. So, what we're going to do today is kind of go through our favorite fights that we've had in the past. So, to start, uh, Israel Adesanya versus Leota Machida is one of our favorites that we do all the time. It's not necessarily my favorite, uh, because I, I use Israel Adesanya, and for some reason, Leota Machida can do no wrong against Adesanya. So, uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. And sorry if there's no game audio, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my settings on OBS. So, we'll, we're getting there, but just bear with me for this one video if it's if there's no game audio. Sorry about that. We'll try and talk more just to drown out the the silence. All right. All right, time to kick your ass. See, it's one kick. One kick and I'm already hurt. Okay, that one was my fault. I wasn't blocking there. There we go. Ooh. Okay. A little knee action, a little flying knee action. What? <laughs> Just gonna cancel my kick, I see, huh? Oh, I'm dead. Basically, in this game, if you miss a big kick, you're gonna get knocked out. Art. <coughs> okay. Just glazed his face. Grazed his face. Nothing like a good old glaze on my face. <laughs> oh, okay. I hate Leota Machida because of this game. Yeah, sit down. Boom. Oh, okay. So well, I hit you in the face and just nothing happens. Okay. You see this, guys? This game fucks me over. Oh, no. You're lucky I was preparing for a body kick no matter what. Oh my, oh my god. god, can you just get knocked out already? No, dude, it's bullshit. I'm kicking you in the legs, you should be falling with those kicks. No. Hey. Oh. I get too focused in this game because I one might hate have been... Leo and Machida. I'm dead. Oh. Okay. Oh. Are you fucking serious? I don't even think I've rocked you one time, have I? Uh. Yeah. No. Oh, I don't know, Chief. Okay. Oh, dude. Okay. There, there you go. I just need one more, baby. I know it's on. Ooh. And there that, it is. That'll do Are, it. You guys see what I'm talking about here now? Like two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Leona. I hate Leona Machida with a passion because of this game. Uh, so frustrating. 
All right. I will see you guys in the next fight. All right, everyone. Welcome back. As we just saw, Adesanya got knocked the fuck out by Leona Matita. But now we got a, a heavyweight John Jones versus Cyril Gain. So we'll see how this one goes. As everyone knows, John Jones is trying to make a comeback in the heavyweight division. And if you guys have seen his training videos, he's looking pretty scary. So I'm actually very much excited to see John Jones be a heavyweight. Uh, because he was a beast at light heavyweight, but imagine him at 240 pounds. So I guess we'll see how that goes. There we go. Oh, all right. Solid body shot. Doesn't do much here, huh? No. Zero Gain's a beast, though, too, if anyone's ever seen him fight. He's a, he's a big hitter. Ah! Yeah. What's up? Boom! Oh. One thing about John Jones, though, is his elbows. Oh! His elbows are insane. Oh, I'm dead. Ooh. I'm knocked out? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. My. God. one I was not expecting. Oh, my God. That was the first time you rocked me the whole fight. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I honestly was not expecting that outcome, let alone that actually happening. I guess we'll see you guys in the next one, but the, I'm getting bullshitted today. <laughs> All right, everyone, we are back, as you can see, with Sean O'Malley versus TJ Dillashaw. This one, when me and Ian use these guys, it usually it can go either way. Sean O'Malley is a really good fighter in this game. Uh, he's very smooth. His kicks are very fluid. But TJ Dillashaw... He's really quick with his kicks. Yeah, he's really quick with his kicks. But for some reason, TJ Dillashaw is just like... That's one, his face fight. is super red for no reason all the time. Two, he he puts up a good fight, but I mean T.J. Dillashaw is one of the better guys in this division. So, is he? Yeah. Okay. I was hoping you were gonna come in. Come on! Don't miss that. These leg kicks, man, they're different in this game. Okay. That didn't hurt you, weirdly enough. I thought it was going to for sure. Take my hamstring to your nose. There we go. Not hurt, huh? Watch, you'll get one punch and I'll be dead. There we go. Hopefully. You probably oh, deserve go. it for doing those all those leg kicks. No, you deserve the leg yeah. kicks right now. Ooh. Okay, somehow I actually made contact on that. Let's hurt his legs. Get his legs. See, See how cheap Tyler is sometimes? Not well, I don't feel cheap. Bad. It's a part of the game. Protect yourself. Ooh. The one good thing about like using Sean O'Malley in this game, though, is he's the only six foot tall featherweight or bantamweight. I forgot what division this is, but he's the only six foot tall one. So he's gonna have the reach advantage no matter what. Everyone else, like I think T.J. Dillashaw is like five foot eight. And Sean O'Malley's six foot and 135 pounds, so he better be one of the better guys in this division. See how cheap he is? It's all leg kicks. Oh, okay. I kind of had that one coming for not putting up a guard. Oh, no. Oh, shit. 
caught me doing a kick. Ugh, I can't believe I've lost the first two fights of this video. I'm not doing good. I'm gonna get knocked out here in a second. No, that's bullshit. I stepped back. That's bullshit. I'm dead. Nope. There we go. Oh, there you go. There you go. Chin. I'm dead. Nope. That, quick's got, that kick's got to be a lot quicker than that. Ooh. To be able to kill you. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't Ooh. knock me out right there. I thought I thought that was it. There it is. This game, man, not He's small but mighty. This game's not being friendly to me today. Granted, I didn't fight fight very smart during that fight, but oh, man, it's not yeah, going. Yeah, normally you just kind of rely on the his length. Yeah, in this one. I got too close in this. All right, I think we will play one more, and we will. You know what one it's gotta I know, be. I know who it, I know who it is. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you guys in that part of the video. All right, guys, we are back, and the surprise is we got BJ the Kamikaze Pen versus George Saint Pierre. Now, this one, weirdly enough, okay. So what me and Ian have come to find out in this game is that they make the legends very much overpowered. Like, like BJ Pen is by no means a boxer. But he puts up a fight against George St. Pierre, who also isn't a boxer, but has very good stand-up. Like, you know it's bad when the, when the shorts that they give BJ Penn are his, is his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt pants. Yeah. Okay. One cool thing about BJ Penn, he sponsors all the UFC gyms out in uh, Hawaii. So you'll see him around there a lot. And Max Holloway, I don't think, sponsors any of them, which is weird. Ooh. I used to love watching George St. Pierre fight. I think he was the first Same. ever fight I saw was George St. Pierre. Ooh. I'm dead. Damn. Gotta push it. Oh no, oh no. Leave me alone. Oh, how's that not put you out? I'm dead. The only bad thing about BJ Penn, it doesn't seem like he has a lot of strength, so it takes a lot longer for me to, like, really put you out with him. Like, with other guys, with, like, heavyweights, especially, if you land an overhand, it's done. Like, a lot of guys get knocked out by overhands in the heavyweight division. Oh, check the kick, huh? I did that earlier, too. Oh, shit. There you go. Yeah, BJ Pet is not kicking heads in the UFC, let me tell you. Oh, okay. Respect. Okay. See this? Ooh, Ooh. there we go. There we go. Yeah, it's not going to. Ooh, there goes my life. Yeah, now you know what it's like, huh? Ooh. There we go. 
Oh, fuck. I don't know why, but I always do really good with BJ Penn. And, like, anyone, anyone else Ooh, in this division, too, cannot handle GSP. Like, there's very few times I ever knock out GSP with anyone else in this division. There we go. That's what Whoa, I, I don't know about that one. There we go. Attack the leg. Punish the leg. Oh, man. You get me. Come on, BJ Penn. I know you're going to get knocked out because he's just going to catch you and some shit, but for now, we fight. Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. What? I feel bad for you. That's why? why. Oh, the game? Yeah, it should. Yeah, you've gotten your butt kicked all day. <laughs> oh, that one. See, that one's money if I can get it to, like. Yeah, see how cheap he is, guys? <laughs> Attack the legs. Punish the legs. Oh, shit. I took you off your feet. I'm dead. Nope. I wasn't ready. Like, how does that one not rock me? They made BJ Penn tough. They just don't give him a lot of strength. See? I'm going to make him quit. The Frenchman is going down. Really? Didn't even rock him, huh? I'm dead. <laughs> You're gonna hit me after the bell, huh? Yep. S some cheap shit. All right. Round number two. Which, honestly, we don't go in round two a lot. Huh? There's probably only been a handful of times that we've ever gone into round two. Yeah. I think one of those times we almost went into round three, and then we did it. Because someone died. I'm dead. Ooh. Punish the leg. Leg. Really, huh? Can you... Oh, you have an axe kick? I've never seen you use that with George St. Pierre, I don't think. Well, it's because I'm in South Hall right now. Oh, okay. Woo! Oh, okay. Respect. Yeah, I'm about to get knocked out. There yeah. it is. I couldn't even back it up. Well, I guess that's a good way to end the video. With the good guy How winning. And not the bad guy. So... <laughs> Well, today we went, what, one and three against you? So I think you can take one loss. I got my ass kicked three times. Nope. So um, nope. if you guys like this, let us know. We can definitely make more UFC videos. Um, Comment and dislike the video. Thank you. <laughs> Don't tell them to dislike. Tell them to like it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.